Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Hey, Pawtucket family could not wait for their new puppy they found online. But when the puppy never arrived as promised, they turned to problem solver Susan Hogan for help. Susan reveals a bigger problem that has local animal rights advocates outraged. She joins us now live with more on what she's learned. Well, if you're looking to buy a puppy, beware. This local family thought they were dealing with a legitimate seller, but when the dog never arrived, not only were they out hundreds of dollars, their children's hearts were broken. Three-year-old Aiden Otis stood by the window for hours waiting for his puppy to arrive, but he never showed up. I told them that someone had taken mommy's money and that we weren't going to be able to get that puppy. That puppy was this little guy Crystal found on an online classified website. He was free. The seller said all Crystal had to do was pay for shipping. She was going to drop the puppy off at the shipping company, Jet Pet Relocators, I think she said it was. And she said that they were going to contact me. Crystal received this email from what she thought was the pet relocation company located in Minnesota. They told her to wire them $250 and the puppy would be shipped the very next day. But that never happened. Instead, she got another email asking for $700 more. I knew it was something going on, so I asked them to send me my money back. Crystal said they never refunded her money. She told them she was calling 12 for action. In a text to Crystal, the shipper responded, I ain't afraid of that. It's nothing to me because I'm in Africa and I have my way of hacking all my transactions via Western Union. I'm really angry because it took me a while to save up that money. Call 12 for Action contacted Jet Pet Relocators, the company Crystal thought she was dealing with. Turns out this company is actually located in Connecticut and not in Minnesota. The owner tells me his company's name has been misused for years and he receives at least 12 calls a day from people asking where their puppies are. All he can offer them is a phone number to police. They, they work on their emotions. The Rhode Island SPCA says tactics like this are rampant. You know, you have people out there who believe these stories and they're going to fall for it and they contact them not knowing who they are, where they are, what they do. Now, Crystal is sending all of her correspondence she's received by the scammers to the State Police Computer Crimes Unit. Bottom line, the SPCA recommends you go through a licensed or certified breeder. That way, if something were to go wrong, you have someone to contact. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.